hi everyone my name is sharon so welcome to my channel uh so today i'm going to be talking about the signs that your kingdom spouse is coming or the signs that your future husband is coming god wants you to know the signs so i'll be mentioning like it's 10 signs that your husband is now coming in the mighty name of jesus some of you have been waiting some of you have been searching but you don't know if the time has already come or if you still have to be waiting for much longer so these are some of the signs so if you look into the life of ruth remember ruth she lost her husband and then she decided to stay with her mother-in-law and during this time she was not dating anyone and she was also not married so the first sign some of you is that you have lost some of you you've lost the people whom you thought are your kingdom spouses some might have separated from you some you might have lost them through other things but even in your laws god is saying that it's a sign that your kingdom spouse is still coming god is still going to be sending through another kingdom spouse into your life that was not the last kingdom spouse in your life god is still going to be sending you someone else in the mighty name of jesus someone is still going to be coming you might have lost yes but someone is still coming and also now the bible says that it's when you have healed if you know that you have healed now now, some of you have had traumatic experiences in your life. You had harbored so much hurt, so much bitterness, so many things in your life. But God is saying that now when you feel like you are light, you are light. Now when you feel like you have healed. Now when you feel like you are at the right state, you will no longer have the negative mindset in your life. Now your heart is clean, it's pure. It's a sign that your husband is coming. That is why as well here when you read in the book of Ruth chapter 2, the Bible says, and Ruth the Moabite said to Naomi, let me go to the fields and pick up the leftover grain behind anyone in whose eyes I find favor. Naomi said to her, go ahead, my, my daughter hallelujah so here you could see that now naomi it means that she had mourned but now she decided that now i have healed now it's time to step outside now it's time to pick up herself again so the third sign is that now you are also prioritizing self-care you are ready to pick up the pieces in your life naomi now was going to be picking up picking up the leftover pieces so yes your life might be broken but now you are at a state that now you want things to be restored back you are picking up the broken pieces of your life the leftover pieces whatever is remaining you are going to be picking it up so god is also saying that it is self-care now when you are prioritizing now your life you are trying again to find your purpose you are trying again to live your calling you are trying again to get back to work that is is also another sign that your husband is coming because you could see that when you are positioning yourself when you correctly position yourself that is when you can be found hallelujah that is why you could also see with the likes of rebecca rebecca was positioning herself at the well she was still working she was still doing what she was supposed to be doing and that is where her isaac or this the servant of abraham found her that is where she found her marital breakthrough even this woman if she did not go and work if she did not decide to go now and start to work and start being on the outside and mingling with other people and meeting up with other people her boas would not have come hallelujah so God is saying that signs that your husband is coming, it's now when you're no longer in your shell, you're no longer in your comfort zone, but now you have gone out to find your purpose, to do other things, to bring money to your life in the mighty name of Jesus and not just wait and not just wait for someone to bring bread to the table. You are going to be finding the bread in your life. Hallelujah. So another, another sign that your husband is coming, it's when you've made a name for yourself. You are making a good name for yourself. There is a good report that is circulating about you. That is why here 
when now Boaz came into his farm, when he came there and then he was asking, who does that young woman belong to? This is what they said in verse 6. The overseer replied, she is the Moabite who came back from Moab with Naomi. She said, please let me glean and gather among the sheep behind the harvesters. She came into the field and she has remained here from morning till now, except for a short rest in the shelter. So you can see now the overseers were giving a good report about her. They were saying that and she has been here. She has been working only just to take a short break. It shows that people are observing. They are watching and there is a report that is going around about you. So God is saying that once now there is a report now once someone is inquiring people are inquiring about you and you've made a good name for yourself it is also a sign that your husband is coming yes to you those things might seem so small they might seem insignificant but to other people your work ethics means a lot about you it is speaking volumes about you hallelujah and also another thing that this woman did she was she confessed positively she attracted favor through her confession so when you are busy confessing positive about your life you are busy confessing favor about your life it's also a sign that now it is coming your husband is coming that is why you see this woman she said that i am going to gather grain behind anyone in whose eyes i find favor so she was attracting a favor she was looking to be finding favor into your life so this is also a sign that now your husband is coming now when your speech has changed how you speak has changed now you are speaking about favor speaking positively it's a sign that your husband is coming and also now when your attitude has changed your character has changed it's a sign that your husband is coming now when you are more kind now when you you are more humbled it's a sign that your husband is coming that is why everyone was talking about the kindness of ruth everyone was talking about her kindness and she was also just so humbled she was also boaz realized that no this woman is so humbled because she even verse 10 it says at this she bowed down with her face to the ground she asked him why have i found such favor in your eyes that you notice me a foreigner hallelujah so you could see here she was submitting herself. She was humbling herself. And you could also see that she was now being noticed. So another sign now, it's like now you begin to get attention. You realize that now people are taking notice of you. It's also a sign that your husband is coming. Your kingdom spouse is coming. You are now beginning to be getting attention. And also another sign that your husband is coming. It's when you are waiting on the Lord. You continue to be waiting upon the Lord you could see that here Naomi not Naomi Ruth she was waiting on the instruction of Naomi she was waiting she did not begin to date until her mother-in-law Naomi said that now it's time for you to do this now it's time that I found you a home this is what you need to be doing so you could see she was waiting and waiting for the right time waiting for the instruction from the Lord waiting to be given the green light so when you are waiting and waiting in that moment of silence when you're feeling like it is it is so dry it is too quiet it's a sign that there is a voice that is about to speak there is a green light that you are about to be given god is about to order your steps in the mighty name of jesus so when you are waiting know that yes it might seem like things are so dry no one is coming to you but god is about to be releasing an instruction god is about to be ordering your steps so that and also ordering the steps of your kingdom spouse so that they begin to come to you in the mighty name of Jesus. That is why here, when now Ruth, she was harvesting, her boas began to come. Her boas started coming closer and taking so much interest in her. Hallelujah. So God is also still saying in your life, your husband is going to come and it can be any moment now, but continue waiting and listening to him and continue now picking up the pieces of your life. Continue now working. Don't just close yourself up and do nothing. Find your purpose, discover your purpose. And there's also this book 
how to attract Mr. Right and get married within a year that has been written by me. The advices or the things, the signs that I am, some of the signs that I'm mentioning here, you can even find more signs in here in terms of who is your kingdom spouse. How do you attract your kingdom spouse? Hallelujah. So this book is on Amazon. Um, the link to the book is on the description below. Hallelujah. So God is saying that continue with those positive confession and continue as prioritizing as well yourself continue positioning yourself at the well because that is where you are going to be finding attention remember the samaritan woman jesus jesus was there by the well when she came there so it's important to be at the well doing something to be at the well now picking up the water or fetching the water find your well find your well because that is where you are going to be well hallelujah w-e-l-l -L. so if you are able to find your well that is where everything in your life is now going to begin to take shape everything in your life now it's also going to become well in the mighty name of jesus so god is saying that yes you might have lost but he wants to be restoring you he wants to be sending the right people your way he wants to be sending your jesus your way who's going to be restoring you like he restored the samaritan woman he wants to be sending the marital breakthrough your way like rebecca got her marital breakthrough at the well so you could also see even here for ruth when she was there harvesting that was her well because that is where her boas came so god is also saying that get ready because because your Boaz is coming and this time around this one shall be a fruitful marriage in the mighty name of Jesus you are going to be having children it shall be a long lasting one in the mighty name of Jesus it won't be short lived you aren't going to lose this one in the mighty name of Jesus amen